Hey everyone, this is Ender from the Digital Storm Forums. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little bit of a run through on using Heaven and Furmark for temperature and stability testing for your graphics card. Uh, now, before you use either of these, just like with processor testing, you need a way to watch your video card's temperatures. Um, the Fermis really don't come with the best stock profiles, so it's probably best if you change your fan profiles, especially if you're going to run Furmark because it's very brutal. Uh, on any graphics card, really. All right, so all you need to do as soon as you open MSI Afterburner, uh, everything will be here for you. You can see this information over here on the right. Uh, it'll show you, you know, your your current temperature and a graph of the history of your temperature, uh, usage, and your fan speed, which are the most relevant ones for us for right now. To change your fan profile, you just need to go to Settings, and then on the Fan tab you can choose you know exactly how you want your fan to work the idea here is pretty straightforward uh, on the left side you got your fan speed percentage um, obviously zero would be none and 100 percent will be as fast as the fan can spin and then on the bottom it's the temperature so you basically say like if you can see this dot right here you can say that when my temperature is at 50 degrees celsius i want my fan spinning at 45 you can see over here uh, you can change this really any way that you please. If you're going to run Firmark, I'd actually suggest turning it up as high as possible. Uh, you don't want to cause damage intentionally to your graphics card, so it's better to just have that turned up. Um, otherwise, it's really just kind of playing with it and, and choosing the settings that you like the most. Uh, the Fermis can go up to 105. I wouldn't really suggest letting them get that high, uh, but every graphics card is different. So try and look up online or ask in the forums for what the highest temperature you should be seeing on your graphics card is, and then you know change the profile to match that. So as soon as we have that set, we just hit OK. And then as long as you have the green square around here, which you get by clicking user define over here, then your fan profile will be active. So the first thing we'll use is the Heaven benchmark, which I'm not going to run in the video because it would absolutely slay the frame rates and you wouldn't really be able to see anything anyway. So I'll just show you the settings. Uh, most of these should be selected correctly for you, so there isn't, really isn't a lot of input, um, but you just need to make sure you got Direct 11, assuming your card is capable of doing that. Um, leave this alone unless you have stereoscopic 3D, shaders high, touch lace normal. Leave this on four. You can set this to four or eight. Um, really either of them is fine. It, doesn't make that much difference in the long haul. Make sure full screen is checked. Very important. And then have the resolution. I'm not sure if you need to change it or not, but best to have it set to the native resolution of your monitor. I think it would change it automatically, but it's better to just have it that way. As soon as you click run, you'll be given a sort of video walkthrough of a sort of 3D tessellated world. Um, the only thing that you really need to be worried about is to watch the screen to see if there's any kind of obvious tearing or stuttering or uh, discoloration or any anything that would make you think that things may not be running as they're supposed to be. Aside from that, as long as you don't crash and your temperatures don't get over the amount that you want them to be, then you have nothing to worry about. So it's pretty straightforward. Pretty similar idea with Firmark. Um, Firmark is not a video walkthrough. It's just going to be sort of a fuzzy donut that spins in place. Um, like I said before, this is a brutal program. It will max your card's temperatures very quickly, and even more so as time goes by. The options you want set for Firmark is you want to use a stability test. Uh, you can log the temperature. Have on post FX over here. Full screen again checked. Have your samples on 8 or 16, again, doesn't make that much difference, but, uh, you know, it's either or. And then you just go ahead and click go. Uh, Firmark will run until you tell it to stop. Um, usually, if you're going to have a problem, you'll probably see it within the first hour or two. Uh, obviously, you don't need to sit there and watch it. You're, for stability like that, you're looking to see if it's going to crash. For your temperatures, it's going to get hot really fast, but it will continue to build over time, so it's important you let it sit there, I'd say for at least two hours if you're really worried that you have some kind of stability problem with your card. You'll see over time that 
after it seems to plateau, it'll slowly creep up as basically the heat around your graphics card starts to catch up and can't dissipate as quickly. Uh, obviously, that'll depend on your case cooling and how hot it is in your house and how much air is moving around. So it's going to change for everybody. That's why it's important to let it run for a while. All right, we're done with that there. Now, if you want to upload any of this information, all you need to do is go down to your start button here and type in snipping tool. You'll be given a cross, which you can draw a rectangle around anything you want to take a picture of. So you can just do this. And I'll open it in a separate window for you. You can just save it. Just save it to the desktop there. I'm done with that. I'd recommend using Image Shack to upload your pictures to. It's uh, free. It's very simple to use. All you need to do is, once you're on the main page, you click Browse right here. Choose your picture. And click Upload. As soon as the picture is uploaded, you'll get a variety of different ways that you can use the hyperlink. Uh, the only thing that really matters to us is to use the direct link here. As soon as you click in the text box, it'll highlight all the text, so you can just hit Control C and head over to the forums. We'll put this in the technical assistance forum. So all you need to do is hit Control V, and there's your link. Uh, you can also use image tags, which will show the actual picture in the post. And another option you have is you can go up and click this tree icon here. It says insert image. Highlight this and paste your image over it. Click preview. And it'll show your image here. And it'll unlock the OK button. You just hit OK. Um, you want to include any relevant information, like you know why you're showing us this picture, what kind of problems you've had, if any. Uh, if you're looking for help on your fan profile, make sure you have your fan profile window up when you take the screenshot so that we can see what option you already have. Anything else like that, you know, definitely just include it and then go ahead and post it up. Now uh, there's going to be a couple more videos in the series, more a little bit more software, a little bit more hardware benchmarking, that sort of thing. Uh, so keep an eye out for those and I hope to see you around.